So my daddy used to believe in this thing called monergism. It was the idea that salvation or being born again was like purely the work of God. But the further my life takes me away from that house, the more I'm seeing just how little God has to do with any of it. I mean, people are born again all the time these days, like it's nothing, as Christians or vampires or werepanthers, apparently, and, you know, whatever else exists in this bumfuck town. Hell, I'm a born-again virgin every day of my life, and that is not the work of God. You know, I think that it comes from the most basic earthbound creatures. People. People in pain and people in love. People, you know, people confused. People just trying to leave some sort of mark, and I don't know, we all, we all take it so lightly like it's no big deal. We'll just move on or go back on our raisin. And what we forget, or what I sometimes forget, is that when you turn or start over, it means you're leaving something behind. Something gets lost. And for me, you know, it was my family and little Eden, church. My childhood. Hey, Jessica, table five's asking for extra mayonnaise. Um. Top shelf. Sorry about that. Um, where was I? Oh, okay. So on the last night of winter church retreats, we'd have this big campfire. I mean, we'd sing stupid songs about the Bible and shit, and I never cared much for that part, but I remember I would get this feeling on my face when it would start to get real windy. And my cheeks and my nose would get to feeling so cold, I thought they might just turn to icicles and crumble right off of my face. It hurt. The cold burned. But it reminded me of the power things, of nature. I don't get that feeling too often anymore. I guess I do miss it a little bit. I mean, my face just feels cold all the time now but it doesn't hurt. Mm. Am I carrying on or what? I should probably get back to my table since I'm waitressing and all now, which is kind of awesome. 